Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and I'm here to show you my newest template, my awesome cool menu. It's one of the best menus I've done so far. A lot of people have trouble with level locks and unlocks and uh, a star system, so I've incorporated all that for you with some cool effects. Um, I'm going to go ahead and press play. The music's going to come on, but um, I'll quickly go into options, turn the music off so you can hear me properly again. So here we go, we got an options button. And I'm going to turn music on or uh, off. You can turn it on or off. Uh, we have a sound effects on and off button. And we have something really cool, but I'm going to go back and show you the, the effect this does every time it comes up. You see that little bounciness? I love that. Uh, really cool. And uh, we have a credits button. Um, it'll take you to your credits page or if you if you have one. Um, and then I have a reset game button. So you hit that and are you sure you would like to reset the game? And if you say yes, it'll reset all the levels back to zero and lock everything up again. Um, you can hit no. I'm going to go into reset game. You hit yes. It has a different sound, which is really cool. I'm go ahead and press play. Now this is our level select system and uh, it's a scroll up. So I've set it up for 60 levels. You can do more or less. It's up to you. Um, really cool is it goes underneath the level select image. Um, so there's a little, like a bubble effect there, which is pretty cool. We have our back button. I'm going to go back to play again. Now, I've set up a star system here. So in this system here, I have it so you collect the stars and that's what you get. But this is changeable. You can do whatever you want. You can base your stars on on time or if they've accomplished you know something. Um, it's I, I've set it up really easy with an attribute. So you don't have to have stars. You can do whatever you want and just change the attribute to reflect how many stars they get for what they've done. Um, and I'm going to have an instructional video that's going to show you how to edit this whole template um, to make it really easy for you. So I've created a button down here that is my trigger to tell me, tell the game that the round is over. And you'll set up whatever triggers you want in your game um, with an attribute I've set up. Really simple. Um, but first I'm going to show you I hit pause. And the pause comes up. Tap anywhere and it unpauses. And we have a reset button to reset the scene. Now I've got my two stars. I'm going to choose level complete and well done. I got my two stars. Now I can choose to go back to the menu, reset the scene or go to the next level. I'm going to go to the next level and in this one I'm going to get all three stars. And then I'm going to go to the next level and I'm going to choose one star. Now I'm going to go back to our menu here. And now you'll see I got two stars, three stars, one star and the next level is unlocked, ready for me to go. And I can select any of these, and it won't take me there. Um, I can even select and drag on an actual level, and when I let go, it's not going to take me to that level. It'll only take you to the level when you actually click it. So I'm back into four. I'm going to get all three. I'm going to go back to here again. Now four is unlocked. I'm going to go into four. I'm going to get one star back to the menu. Now this is really cool. On, on number two I have three stars. So I'm going to go into two and this time I'm going to get one star. So that's easy. Well done. I got one star. But if you go back to the menu you'll see I still have my three stars. So it'll never take away what you already have which is cool. So you can always go back and, and, and keep playing levels and not affect your, your outcome of your star ratings. Um, and then I'm just going to show you, we'll hit back and we'll go to options. I'm going to reset the game, are you sure? And now when we go back to the menu, you'll see everything's locked again, no stars, fully reset. Now I've only set up up to level 6 for you guys because um, I only made 6 scenes. Um, I don't know how your game is going to work out. I don't know what you want to do with your game. So I didn't want to set up a lot of stuff for you to go and delete later. Um, but my instructional video on how to edit this template is going to be really good. So um, you'll be able to zip through it in a breeze. Um, so again, this is one of my best templates uh, for a menu system. And uh, I hope you like it. And the best part about this is 
all the art is yours. You can use it in any way you like. The only thing you can't use is the music. Um, so the sound effects are yours. The art is yours. I'm even including a vector file with all the art. So you can change the colors or the styles or whatever you want. Um, it's really cool. Well worth the money. And um, I hope you all enjoy.